anointing. For God is going to move in this place. Like never before. God, I Ambassador for Christ. 
Praise God. The Wild Festival in 1990. We may taste this Alain campus. Sing a lot of songs like Love of the Girls and Flex and all different, etc., etc. Amen? But one day, I found a savior. Hallelujah. And in sweet, I know. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so from that day, you know, 10 years ago, I have been with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I have been doing the work of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And as I go through ministry, there are ups and downs. Amen. But yes. God has bring me this far by faith, leaning on the Lord's side, trusting in his own words, yes. and he never failed me yet. Yes. Amen. And I know a lot of you today, you are in a position, sitting down, waiting on the Lord to do something for you. And you have said you have come this far by faith. But there is a lot more faith you've got to have. Because to reach where God wants you to reach, there's a lot of tribulation. There's a lot of ills and valley. There's a lot of going you have to go through. There's a lot of mountain you have to go I said, if you know that you want to be used by God, then you got to prepare yourself for the valley. You have to prepare yourself for the mountain. There's a song that says, I've been on the mountain with Jesus. I've been in the valley so long. And there is never one time God has
what to do that I'm going to get down in. It's going to push you into a place where you will cry more for God. Amen. You will need more of God and not want God. Amen. Amen. Because you can want a pair of shoes, but you really don't need a pair of shoes. Because you have 12 pair of shoes already. So you don't need a pair of shoes. But you don't see a new shoes come out. And you decide that you want the shoes. But you can't do it on the shoes. But you cannot do it on Jesus. You need Jesus Christ. So my name now is Prophet Osborne. Amen. A lot of people call me David Trumper. Amen. Because yeah. I love to step up a serpent and scorpion. Amen. I love to cast demon out. Oh. Because according to Isaiah 61, he says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to preach and teach good tidings unto me. He has sent me to bind up broken hearted and to proclaim liberty yeah. to the captive. And the opening, the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So I want you to turn your Bible with me to Psalms 51, verse 11 and 12. We are going. And we talk about my books and CD as we go along. But you need to get the word. So cast me not. Away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. So I can worship you. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me, but restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, so I can worship. See, when I was a little boy, my mother took sick when I was six years old. I want you to hear me very well. When my mother took sick, I was the age of six years old, never have anyone around me to take care of me. My father was a rum drinker. Real nephew was the thing. Drink real nephew morning, real nephew evening. And so I was left on the mercy of the world. No school, no education, only prison was my refuge. I leave Clarendon, I'll not tell you if you know me, but Clarendon. That's where I born. And I leave here, I go to town, and I go back to country. And when I go to country, my mother tell me that I cannot keep you because I have other brothers and sisters. And I am the second to last. And she already give us some of us. And only two of us like, leave to give away. Jesus. And she said she will keep the little one. And she will give me away. But here I am, was moving around a man of God. Lord Jesus. He said, cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. There is a lot of people that is walking, but God already cast them away from his presence. There is a lot of people that is preaching and teaching, but God already take away his Holy Spirit from them. So this man of God, my mother, released me. 
to be with him. Sometimes we are God for a place named Farka, midday night bicycle bar. And if you know Jamaica, put in the middle of the bicycle. And think we know the front wheel and the back wheel was not pretty. But me, not in the middle of the boom, 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 boom. country. But that man, the one who was leaving a long time. Because the things that he was doing. I showed no photo in the basket. The tiger is dead. Begin to tell me how lovely. I'm a little boy. Grow up, don't have no one. Looking for rescue. My mother taught that the Holy Ghost is in him. My mother taught that the Spirit of the Lord rests upon him. So she trusted him with her little boy picnic and not to know that this man is a child molester. Man of God, you that everyone that you trust with your flock. You that everyone that come in the ministry and say that they are filled of the Holy Ghost is the right Holy Ghost. That's why when someone has been trusted, there must be inspect. I thank God that you have trusted him. But this is as many are called. What is all if you are chosen? You must open your eyes and look at your grandchild. Look at your boy child. Because many are called. But all if you are chosen. So this man began to molest me. He came to, I can talk about it because I've been given a long time. Yes. Amen. So they come testimony. Amen. Yes. And we don't lock it down because we don't want the devil to think we have no secret for him. Amen. We don't keep secret for the devil. Amen. We don't keep secret for the devil. Amen. Because there's a lot of people sit down in ministry. Some of them have been molested, mistreated, knocked about, and all different types of stuff happen to them in their life. And they shut it down. And the devil have them and knock them and have blocks them from left to right. But I come to them to tell you that they have victory in Jesus. I bet my fear of forever. All you got to do is go open the mouth. I make a shout. I say that you are delivered. So he became evil. Molested me and molested me. My mother tell me that. I can't tell my mother. I can't tell nobody. I'm keeping it a secret. So my mother decided that she will give me away to a lady in Linston. The lady come for me the night. And when the lady come for me, man of God, I reach out the woman about nine o'clock the night. And the woman put me down on the car of a sleep with me like a scandal bar. And the morning about three thirty o'clock at four, the woman picked me up. And greet me with some salt I have pen on my back. I'm cold for the evening. Me a little boy, no school, nothing for me. But I didn't know any better. I have to just go with the flu. But one thing, from I was a child, I know that the hands of the Lord was upon me. Because my mother, even though she was sick, she used to bring us to Sunday school. She used to teach us the way of God. That's why the Bible said, grow up, grow up a child in the way of each grow, that when it grow whole. This is a product of my mother. A product of my mother. And so I be in Linston with that woman. And the woman walked me. Walk me, walk me, walk me, and then my bigger brother was staying on the top. And another lady have a up there walking too. He says, be a walk, walk, walk. And one morning I get vexed and I say, listen, my man, you go and go back in the middle of the and you know, since it was at our school. So we go up and tell my bigger brother, I said, listen to me. 
Mr. White and Mr. And Mr. And Mr. Black going to turn Miss White and Mr. Black because I'm being here. And I pop my scandal bag and I leave out of the house and I go into the instance here. I catch a, 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 a market truck and I end up in Spanish town and catch Beverly's bus back to the river. And when I get here, my mother said, where are you going? I can't help you. You have to go back. Mr. McKay, I'll go back and I'll kill me. You walk too much. She said, okay, I know that I did, but I can't take you. You see, sometimes when they're keeping you away and calling the name and doing you some things, it's because God has you in his presence. And he's training you, he's teaching you for the work and the mission of the earth for you. So I got a ticket with me. They put me again for my kitchen, send me down all over. Catch all over now, reach in the room and house again. The morning, the woman greet me with that, you know, the coconut brush. You got the coconut and the brush, you use it to shine the floor with the wet red rock polish. And me have to get on my knees and me have to begin to shine floor. No spoon! Nothing for me! I was there for a while. And all I know was housework. And one day I get up and I said, I'm going to find where my sister lives because my bigger sister run away from primary school. Because she's a bad girl. And she lived in Spanish town so I find her house. When I got there, she said, Pastor, she said, I can't keep you like that. Because things are very rough. So I end up in City Kingston. We have become a bad boy. Pushing all type of things that is not right. Jesus. Walking through Maxfield Avenue with a big fat knife. Jumps. Pimping. Young teenager boy growing up. Carry, can't write. All we know is the street. All we know to do is to do badness, wickedness. Me have all different type of anger. Buried it, buried inside of me. Because I want to kill somebody for what they have done to me. As when I see people, I want to do their thing because I'm angry. Yeah, Where's the Lord? Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. What was carrying me was the Holy Ghost. Even though I was wrapped up and tied up, but God knows that He's taking me through a process because in order for me to carry this mantle, I must go through the valley. So today I come to church. Pastor said, Show your tithes, show your offering. You know, I'm a job, you know. And sometimes you can job what you have. Now make no money. And come out. You wonder if you throw tight out of it if you are able to pay your life bill. But God is trusting you with a little bit. Because He's taking you through a process. And when you're going through a process, you don't need to know why you're going through this process. Just depend upon God. Because God is your strength. God is your source. God is your provider. Sometimes I ask myself questions and I say, God, but look, me, I grew up on big man. I look how me look, me not, me not, me not, no scale, me not, nothing. Mm. Then me meet up on a woman and she tell me she love me. And then now me start to mm. play a force right. And then me go and go and live with her, come in here, not to live with her, come in here, come in here, come in here, come in here, come in and so we go and I walk and house don't go with this woman. After one month, you might tell me to look up. Me a young boy. We go and don't talk to look up. Me get one little walk in our garments factory. And we start to think. We can't let that be known. Lord Jesus, we don't know the trail. So all we got back to us. When we don't know about them things that all the years of my life, I know is wrong doing. So I go in the place and start to do wrong doing. One week and I catch me seven dollar ascension. Lock me down. I said there was no end I said there was no source of it. The devil was out after me. The devil wanted to steal me. But I come to tell you when the 
But all when me look like celebrity, me never cross over yet, you know. Me never in Christ yet, you know. But God was preparing me, man. And so me they're gonna each and myself, man. Try to travel up and down Grenada. That way, Union Kirk, who sent things to them. That my God. Everywhere we start to go now. And we feel so good. We feel so glad. But what I never knew, that the hands of the Lord was over me. Because my mother has planned me. And the foot of the cross. And the tears of hell shall not reveal against me. I must carry the cross. I must do the will of God. Coming very shortly, I'm just cutting it. You know, so you can get a preview. Amen? Amen. It's having said, Musha. My God. Then I decided to cut one tea. The man of the said it. Lord Jesus, meet one wonderful woman coming to the love woman in him. Lord Jesus. Man, no, I don't think nobody in love woman like me. I mean, the love woman is still, but I'm the wife. So 
Mwambie. Wasichekina Afrika mgeni. That's not my wife. Wasichekina Afrika mgeni. Then you take me to my right and I'm going to come to my I pray for me. No, me and she, but she are praying me. That's why when a man come to you and begin to look you as a woman, don't just run him. Ask him in name, man. Ask him in name. And then write down his name. Write down his date of birth. And begin to call him name to God. Begin to say, Father, he might look wise, but me I look so pure. Lord Jesus, who walk up on him and try to prevent the way from him. Don't take your Holy Spirit from him. And so, I was there looking at this woman. I knew when I back in the church. And one day now, Bishop Carol called my spiritual father. He has a crusade in St. Kitts. And the lady invited me, invited me. In, in, in the car, so we drop her by the crusade with this Anton Bach. And one night she said, Please come inside, boy. And I enter inside. No, me, I look she. Me, I'm a child, but I woman. Still this. And we still got church with she, and still have a woman in our church. Oh, Jesus. And Bishop are preaching. And while Bishop was preaching, Bishop said, Yes, a young man is here. That God has rest his hands upon. And tonight, he will be delivered. Tonight, he will set free. And I was there and I said, I'm not going to I'm not going to But do you know what I'm going to say? I'm from God. You cannot hide from God. For God eyes are watching you. I say you I from man. You cannot hide from God. For God eyes are watching you. I say you I from man. You cannot hide from God. For God eyes are watching you. I say you I from man. You cannot hide from God. For God eyes are watching. Church sometime I'm here at the church sister and brother I said I went to 
Why do you even bother to buy her? And she said to me, you come here in New York and read me today. He said, Lord Jesus, if you come, would I take me in? Me said, me here and read so good. She said, well, do it all you can read. Me said, not good, good, good. She said, well, do it. Me said, not so good, 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 good. She said, anything you can do, do it. I said, Jesus. I'm ashamed. But me no know how God has set me up. So you see, God don't have no explanation to give to you when I set you up. So what you need to do is to come to church, sit down under the mighty hand of God, and learn the word of God from the end that God has placed over your life. Because you don't know where God is taking you, and if only the end can push you in the direction that God is taking you. So I sit there, and then I start to take out my shield and put it in my pocket. And I said, Nikita, read it. She said, Me not that guy. You can't read that guy. You look at a big thing. Me have it all the years, you have to be carry. She said, I can't read that. I can't read that. Me have a teacher. And she started to teach me A E I O U. Jesus. I said, The shock. My God, I get used to it now enough. And then she started to say, R A T, Rock, C A T. Yeah, and start to M O T H E R, Mother F A T H E R, Father, my God. When I start to get into it, man, Lord God, it gets sweet in a man. And she start to write the years of the weeks and the months of the year. Lord Jesus, man, I pray that this is the world. Why you can't go through it? 
Smith and one for another shop. And then we begin to eat. And Lord Jesus, we start eating. In a time for we get married. Lord Jesus. And we get married. Amen? Amen. And look at me today. We have two wonderful children. Amen. Amen. We'll get you outside. Amen. But we have two be my lovely, beautiful, raw wife. Amen. 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 Sometimes you see a little victory and you start to jump. You see sugar in the trap. You start to jump. You see salt in the trap. You got to jump. And you see water and some food. You start to jump. But what you don't know that you can see that you are about to cross. That's why I love the mother so much. Because the mother sing a song say, I don't have to cross Jordan. I know. Jesus died. I see, he'll be waiting for me. I don't have to cross Jordan alone. So even though I cross the river, but there was a Jordan that I have to cross. Amen. So I begin to grow up in church. And I'm cutting it short because I wanted to get the main course. And I was growing up as a, as, a, as a usher in the church. Growing up as a prayer warrior in the church. Started to do things in the church. Sometimes pastor send me a church alone. Me alone in a church and pray. Sometimes the grown family send me a pastor and send me a picnic with them. Eh, and me alone pastor send me a preach. Eh, me pray. Eh? I'm a grown family church pastor man. Yes, but what I didn't know that pastor was training me. Pastor was teaching me how to be strong, how to get mighty and powerful and steal in Christ. But he has criticized pastor. And pastor began to teach me and shoot me. And then in a pastor, he did not teach me nothing. We are learning by myself. All of us were shown. Sometimes you just get shook and you have a person and pay you the mind. Stop, push up your mouth and allow up your mouth because you're only supposed to get shook. You're not supposed to teach you, they'll shook you. They'll shook you. The song says, Press along, says, Press along in the Lord way. Press along, says, Press along in the Lord way. Press you shall be most dear. Try your own process in a way. Choice in stories, so do not sad. 
The choice is this. So I entered the church. There was a man of God that they brought from Jamaica to preach. And they put me to armor bearing. I don't know how to do the armor bearing professionally at that time. So I became to armor bearing. And he was praying for another pastor. And he laid his hands upon the pastor. And he was praying for the pastor. And I was behind the pastor. And the pastor swing back him hands up. And when I look, I saw a big lion on a, a silver ring, the most red, like blood. And by the time if he goes up, he just burn up my eye and post it trapped in my hand. Right in my hand. Start to drain out in my hand. All the liquid and everything I drain out in my hand. That's for a sad time. And they rushed me to the hospital that my wife don't graduate yet. She's so graduate. They rushed me to the hospital. No me go to church with two eyes. No me up in a church where they say God be. Holy Ghost there. No me up in one eye. You need this kind of anointing? <laughs> Lord Jesus, this come with a Christ. Lord Jesus, the thing is free the Lord come up on you just. Yes, just eh? You just come to church and, and, and sing to Hallelujah. And, and get it and I use you. Stop there. Stop there and wait. Stop there and wait. And you saw persecution come with the bishop. And this is one of my persecution. But the devil thought that you would have catch me, but I'm catching the devil. Because when I see my natural, and when I see my supernatural, Lord God Almighty, the Spirit of God, rest upon me, and rest upon me. Lord, I don't know what to say. So as I stand before you today, I see from my life. And I'm in the hospital, and that man never gave me a glass of ice water. None of them come to look for me. But I was there just sitting down in the hospital. The only person I had was my wife. And I leave the hospital and I chop up and down to fix my eye. And they never help me. When I now become a prophet of God and I begin to travel and begin to do ministry, I go back to St. Kitts. And a man of God called me and said, Prophet, I need to see you. So I said, what do you want to see me for? I said, I need to see you. And I said, come, I am, a, I am home. So when he called, he said to me, I want to talk to you. I said, talk to me. He said, you know, that same man that come from Jamaica that was, was um, praying for the other pastor. You know, he laid his hands on me that very night. And you know, since that time, I just find myself loving guys. I'm telling you. Just the hand who rest upon him. He was talking guys. And that's when reality come to me. And I get to realize that that ring I see on his finger was demonic. And that man was mixed up in all type of rubbish. That's why when you're in a good ministry, I have good past over you. You must see your man dead ministry. And stop roll up my dog. Because you will reap where you sure by the spirit of the Lord left you. I never run away. 
And even though I get saved by the Bishop Hall, but the ministry that I was going to, that's the ministry that he was attached to, but not over, who bring for crusade. And so I have to know, go over to him and say, my father, I come. And he said, my son, I was given at you. And he begins to train me. And this is a product. Bishop Hall. Amen. I'm telling you, anywhere I go, I'm not afraid to call my father name. Because I love him so much. And I respect him a lot. Amen? Amen. I respect him. Before I, I get here, on Thursday night, I get here. On Thursday or Wednesday night, when Thursday morning, I'm coming late, and my wife, I'm coming from Florida, and my father, we go and sit at his feet and humble ourselves as a child and receive from the man of God. So that we can be able to prosper. Because yeah. if the bishop now lay on fire you and I release prosperity for you, may I tell you something? You can't go there with nothing. So if you are trying to show things, you, you need, you need his eyes. You need his eyes. Yeah. For the spirit of the Lord is upon him. So when I lay on my father, I think he's the father. Cast this one away not from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from him. But restore him, Lord. Bring him out of Lord. Carry him to a place, Lord, where he can be unstopping, Lord. Lord God, let it be, mighty God, like a tree that planted by the rivers of water that bring out the fruit in his season. Let his leaf do a wither, and whatsoever he do it and touch it shall prosper. That is valuable more than a millions and trillions of dollars. When he imparted that on you, when the woman of God imparted that on you, the man of God imparted that on you, even if God was planning to put you aside and left you to your red to be a man, when the woman and the man of God go on fire and burn. I said, God, oh son of David, have mercy. Oh my God. He said, the prayer of the righteous. I feel it, man. I feel it much. Yeah. So today, as you are here, I'm encouraging you all to stay under the mighty hands of God. Do not walk away and allow God to remove his presence. Don't allow God to take his Holy Spirit away from you. But let him continue to restore the joy of salvation so that you can worship him. Because you can't just worship God like that. There's a way out to worship God. Because if he cast you away from the presence, your worship is in vain. Yeah. If he cast you away from his presence, and the Holy Spirit is not with you, everything that you're doing is in vain. You have to first go back to repentance yeah. and go submit again yeah. and to learn again and to grow again so that God can hear your worship. God can hear your prayer. Yeah. That's why there's a scripture that says, He that dwelt in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow, under the shadow, under the shadow, under the shadow of the Almighty God. But how can you abide under the shadow when you are not in the secret place? You are not in the secret place. If you are not in the secret place, you can't abide under the shadow. So that means that the Spirit of the Lord leave you. You cannot. Oh, you're going to dance. Oh, you're going to pray. So I'm encouraging the church today to get back to basic. Amen. Get back into fasting and prayer. Amen. Begin to seek the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Begin to hold on to God. Amen. Don't try to move too fast. Let God. Because God is the real maker. Amen. He is the deliverer. He is the gift giver. Uh -huh. He is the anointed one. Amen. And if Jesus come to the earth, and have to go and get baptized and then get anointed and appointed for tested for to be a campaign in the wilderness who is the behind you and he is God. Yes. Hallelujah. 
I'm encouraging the church today that you must get back to basic. Get into the place of surrender. Then you come to give your sweet words. And then you come to tell about prosperity. Because prosperity without Jesus is nothing. I don't need to know what prosperity is. We don't have time for that. We preach salvation. Amen. Come and keep God alive. Give him a chance. Yeah. Don't make him cut off from six for me. Make him bring you in. Come and stop with yourself. That's why the psalm said, Come home. Come home. You are weary. Come home.
and I saw it prophetically. My people will tell you. I saw it prophetically in him. Castle demons. I move. I. But I lost much more. Why? Cast the spirit out of someone when they are not playing. By the seven, a spirit of the cast out of a man. He go to the abyss of dry places. And he said, Let me come back and go and see if I can see. I bring seven more of which he to possess the man. So it's more important for you to give your life to the Lord. Surrender, Surrender to God. And then the rest will come. All the Christians stand up for me. Kingdom citizen, can you stand up for me? Amen. Okay. All the kingdom citizens sit down, and all the ones that are not Christians stand up. Please. Real. Be like a 
child's not mine. You have to pay a Jesus name. Amen. Give him a little chance for me, dear. Can you give him a little chance? Try it out. Just try it out. It's not the God. Just try it out. You might be going through some situation and you look rough and tough. But we are telling you something. We can't go through it together. We can't go through it together. It's a united, we stand and divide in the bar. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, come together and you see all the sister and you hold your hand. And pass and hold your hand. And you hold your hand. And we all go together in Christ's mind. You give you my defeat? You know, defeat, my dear? You know, of course, you're going to start your compliment here. Can you give him a chance? Please. Can we give him a chance to spread the Lord and walk the world with you? Just go to my dear. Ready? Ready? Give my dear Jeremy. Praise the name of the Lord. Church, give a round of applause for the next year. We have one more year. Pass to me, my dear. You ready? You are ready? Because there are some things that you are going through, and I don't want to have any disclose that. Release your hand for me. Mighty God. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to pray for you, though, okay? I'm going to pray for you, but you have to let go, okay? You got to let go because you're fighting a battle for yourself. The battle that you're fighting for yourself is going quickly on the outside, but deep on the inside is really going bitter and going in a place of stagnancy. And you need to let go of what is going on so that you can be able to fight the battle with God. You see, the Bible tells us that the weapon of our warfare is supposed to be carnal. They must be mighty to God. To the pull it down of every stronghold. Whatever is going on now, you cannot pull it down without God. You understand? So you have to let go and give God a chance in your life. Yeah. Understand? And let him fight it. Can you go, my dear? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh. Give God a round of Hallelujah. <laughs> No, you are not going to do you more than you are ready. You understand? To tell God how you feel, right? I'm only going to pray over you, amen? But you have to tell God how you feel and tell him that he must forgive you, amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. So while I'm praying, you are telling your heart that um, you will accept him and you want to forgive you, amen? Because you know why? You must repeat something. You will just tell him repeat it and you repeat it and go back home and you never change. You understand? Yeah. You are praying to your heart and tell him that the Lord and your confess your sin to him. He must see and he know what I Amen? Amen. Bless the Lord. Give me the word your hands. Father, Hallelujah. I bring these two souls before you. Yes, God. He said, He that will let us soul his mind. Lord Jesus, I bring them before you. You have seen your two daughters. Their womb will bruise the head of the servant. Yes. Father, we need the bruising, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask you to take them into your hands right now. And cover them, Lord. Wash them and forgive them of all their sins. And let them follow you. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have done it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The only thing that I want to do is to do, and I just want to answer that. Do you believe in God the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in God the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit? Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? Well, we have no problem. Lord Jesus, you are saved and you are oh, sanctified right again. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And we will be the Lord. Amen. Amen. Church, get up and give God good. I have seen that when you I feel good, so good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful. Get out! Time we talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. Just talking about I feel good, good, good.
Jesus' name. Can go back, please. I said, the lion of Judah shall break every chain. Say, the lion of Judah shall break every chain. I said, the lion of Judah shall break every chain. And he was a victory. And again and again.